rapport is huge uh, between a dog and a handler. Uh, basically, we just at the beginning, we just have the handler go in and basically hang out with the dog. We just want the dog and the handler to like just get along, kind of like each other. But to prove that we can handle the dog on and off leash, doing obstacles, uh, over hurdles, through tunnels, whatever the case is, at a distance, uh, stuff like that. Right now, I got a few guys that are helping out. They're doing a lot of the training. They're doing the decoy work and stuff like that. And then they're going to go off to school, and hopefully we'll have dogs for them when they get back. And then we'll move into patrol. So now we have a suspect or uh, we call them a decoy, and they're out there, and we have to be able to go through different phases of patrol. Maybe the person comes up, has to show them an ID, or whatever the case is, but we don't want the dog to just react and bite everybody, right? So we need to show that the dog is not just gonna attack. At this time, I'm gonna come forward and conduct a search on your person. Do not make any sudden or aggressive movements since my dog is trained to attack with or without command on or off leash. Do you understand? In the next phase is we'll move into basically a non-compliant uh, individual. So, Again, the MP will be out there, hey, sir, what are you doing here, yada, yada. Um, that suspect either you know, becomes non-compliant, might take off running, and that's when we'll send the dog on a bite. So um, again, dog bites with or without command based upon the actions of the individual. Currently, we have six dogs. I have nine handlers. We're only 11 strong, so 11 out of the entire guard or reserve across the country. That's pretty unique.